Well, welcome back to the live stream here, brought to you by the Australian Equine Network. They're the people that make us possible to bring Grand National into your living rooms or your dining room or wherever your laptop's propped up at the moment and wherever you're enjoying this. My name's Lindsay Douglas and uh, I'll be taking you through the five days of Grand National this year. Big thank you to Huff Glocken, our major sponsors. They are competitors themselves, so every product they choose, every product they create, they test themselves in the showing ring and the dressage arena. And uh, they're so committed to the sport that not only does uh, Annalisa Phillips compete out here as a showy, she's also the major sponsor of a number of events, including Grand National, and has been for some years. This event here is brought to us by the Bellman and Horsepole families. Thank you so much. Uh, for your support of this class. This is class C4, Grand National Child's small saddle pony, not exceeding 12 2 with a rider under 17 years. Our owner rider award is $100 with the rosette proudly sponsored by Uruguay Pony Stud. And we've got quite a few competitors out here, so we've got a couple of heats to bring to you on the live stream here this evening. World Reserve Champion in 2019 was our champion in 2018. So our first competitor, folks, in Class 4 is number 93, Picturesque Prince. Christine Donnelly is the exhibitor. And uh, Zara Donnelly from Wombrel, New South Wales, is the owner, qualified at the Melbourne Royal, Canberra Royal, and the 2020 Show Horse Council of Queensland as champion. Well, picturesque prints, as Chris King has just pointed out, is our first to work out, called Harry at Home. And owned by the Donnelly family at Womberall in New South Wales. They were the runner-up in the Open First Ridden class at Pacific Coast earlier this year. And they've been top 10 at the Horse of the Year in uh, the Equestrian New South Wales class. Purchased by the Don Donnellys in late 2019. And they've had a good Grand National so far already. They'll be happy they've made the not very far journey from uh, Wombrel. 
They were reserve champion earlier today in the first ridden saddle pony class. I was mentioning before that uh, our reserve champion from 2019 was our champion from 2018. That was uh, DP and Lady Di. Our reserve champion in 2018 was Bambra Betty Boop. A lot of these uh, ponies you're going to see back out here today. And runner-up that year was DP Gigolo. Okay, folks, time to let you know who the top five is. First of the top five is number 93, Picturesque Prince. Number 278, Rocky Hill, Prince Charming. Number 432, Border Show, Magic Mike. 481, Kurana, Music Man. And 515, Rosedale, Rosedale Matilda. That's the top five. A lot of cheering here on the first night of the Half Clock and Grand Nationals while well, we wait with bated breath. Okay, here we go. Very tight one, this one. So we go with third place which is also the owner rider 278 Rocky Hill Prince Charming well PC as uh, the missing family call Rocky Hill Prince Charming is having a very successful Grand National Okay. The reserve. Competitor number 93, Picturesque Prince. Not the first uh, successful ribbon Picturesque Prince has picked up at this show. Zara and Christine Donnelly will be very happy. Okay, here we go, folks. The champion in this class is number four, three, two. Border Show Magic Mike from Bundle in Queensland. Congratulations. Well, you can see the joy on the face of our rider. You can hear it from the crowd. Border Show, Magic Mike, Team Pink, and Chanel Lovelock from Bundle, Queensland. Well, viewers on the live stream here, I do hope you're enjoying watching this class. What a way to end day one. We've got two princes there in the uh, lineup Rocky Hill, Prince Charming, picturesque prince, but our champion is Border Show Magic Mike. And uh, just a magic way to bring day one of the Huff Glocken Grand Nationals okay. to a close. Joanne. Oh, you're Becky. Okay, Becky, you're going to say a few words on behalf of the judges for a lovely day. Um, I want to give a big congratulations to all your winners today and runners-up, but a big shout-out to all you kids that some of you have been here since very early this morning and you've come out with smiles on, you've tried really hard and you have all ridden fantastically. Congratulations, guys. Good on you, Becky. Thank you, judges. Thank you, all of our officials. Well, folks, that's it for today. We'll be back at 7.30 in the morning for more competition.
I think eight events are uh, down for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Could I just ask you to help us out? Take any rubbish, please, with you if you've got any there or nearby. Take it, throw it in the bin. That would help us out enormously. So thanks, everybody. Competitors, don't forget, there's half an hour. Ten minutes each. See you all tomorrow or on the live stream, Australian Equine Network. Well, the atmosphere here at Cindy, Sydney International Equestrian Centre is just fantastic. Day one, run and done. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching from home. Looking forward to seeing you all bright and early tomorrow morning for the first class of the day, 7.30 a.m. 44 competitors are registered for tomorrow morning. That's our child, small show hunter pony, not exceeding 12-2, rider under 17 years. On behalf of the Show Horse Council of Australasia and our major sponsors, Huff Glocken, and of course our sponsors of the class that you've just watched here a moment ago, the wonderful equestrian family, the Bellman and Horsepole families. Thank you for watching. I'm Lindsay Douglas. See you tomorrow morning.